Hey guys, it's your favorite neighborhood alien here, Grey Tony. Today we are going to be talking about how to get the Black Spindle. The Black Spindle is an exotic version, the Black Hammer, which was a year one weapon you could get from Curtis Raid. The great thing about this gun is the perk called White Nail. What that allows you to do is continuously fire as long as you're hitting precision shots. That allows you to unload your whole clip in a short amount of time and do massive damage. This comes in great help for bosses like Golgoroth or the Warpriest. You can get this when Lost of the Light is the daily mission. What you need to do is play up to where you defeat the Ogre and take the Shard. Then go through the first two Tomb Husk rooms. On the third room you will not be putting the keys in. Instead there will be a new door that opens in the back. Eris? Kate? I think we've lost them. This is the first Tomb Husk room. Your first key is going to be to your right. First thing you want to do is clear all the ads, then grab the key and put it in the door. After opening a door, just run to the next room. This is the second Tomb Husk room. What I usually do is hide in this little corner over here by the cave. From here I can take cover, clear all the adds, make sure to take out the knights and the wizards. Your first key is going to be on the platform to your left. The other key is down here in this cave. It is actually carded by a knight. After all the ads are cleared, grab the keys and put them in the door. Once again, run through the room until you get to the next Tomb Husk room. Connection is getting stronger. This is the third room. However, we're not going to be putting the keys in the door in this one. Instead, there will be a secret door that opens in the back of the room. You may remember this area from the Mission Tannix. Before going up this futuristic elevator, this is a good time to equip for the battle to come. Best weapons to have on are an exotic sword, a sniper, and equip any room clearing subclass, such as Blade Dancer for the Hunter, Stormcaller for the Warlock, and Sunbreaker for the Titan.
Entering the room up here will actually start the timer. You're going to have 10 minutes to clear a couple rooms of ads and a boss. First blight's going to be on the right. Second blight's going to be on the left. First thing you want to do when you enter each of the rooms is take out these blades. These blades will continuously spawn ads. After clearing all the blades in the room, pop your super and take out as many of the ads as possible. This will create orbs for your teammates, which will in turn give them their super. If after the super you still have ads in the room, whip out your sword. Upon entering this room, there's going to be ads coming from the right and the left. Dispense them quickly. The next room there will be two blights right to the right. One's in the little tunnel and the other ones will be right in front of you. There's also a blight over to the left. It's in the back of the room, guarded by a witch. The strong enemies to look out for in this level are the witches. There will be two in the back left, one in the back right. There will also be snipers across the back catwalk. Along with the snipers on the catwalk, there is a sniper above the doorway at the end of the tunnel here. After carrying the ads, collect any orbs and ammo that are laying around and revive any fallen teammates. Yeah, there's one in the top left. I can revive him. This next hallway will have a lot of ads in it. The best way to get through this hallway is with an exotic sword, and just cut your way through. You are now in the final room. This is where you fight the boss. Blights will appear to the left, and there will also be one to the right. The object here is to take turns taking out blights, taking out adds, then doing damage to the boss until new blights appear. After all the blights are down, you can pop your super to take out the ads quickly. After ads are down, damage the boss again. Keep your eye peeled for new blights appearing. Usually the blades will appear in pairs. When you see one, make sure to make a call out to your teammates. The strong ads to watch out for in this level are the knights and the witches. When they appear, quickly take them out.
Four shots with the sniper will take out a blade. If you don't kill the ads in between blights, they will quickly overrun. Especially when it gets to the scions where they split apart. These will be the last two blades that spawn. You know you're near the end then. If needed, remember you can pop a heavy synth. You want to have a heavy synth before fighting the last boss. After all the ads are clear, all that's left is the boss. He would don't go down quick enough as long as everyone just attacks him with exotic swords. Use the R2 ability on him. This will make quick work. There you go, Black Spindle. Hope this video was helpful. Good luck on getting your own black spindle. Don't forget to like this video. And subscribe.